Welcome again to another one of my video. It is a pleasure to have you here. It's a nice day out here still and I will be working out today and we will be talking about hypertension, high blood pressure. That's what we'll be talking about today. We will be discussing six ways of reducing your blood pressure, the things you can do at home to help you reduce your high blood pressure. Let me start by telling you what normal blood pressure should be. A normal blood pressure should be around 120 over 80. That's what it should be. The 120 number is the upper number, which is what we call the systolic blood pressure. Systolic blood pressure is the pressure that is generated when the heart pushes, when it pumps the blood. And the bottom number, the 80, is the, what we call the diastolic blood pressure. And the diastolic blood pressure is the resting phase of the heart. What is the pressure when the heart has pumped out the blood and it's resting? What is the blood pressure? So it should be no more than 80, okay? Now, if you already have high blood pressure, your provider might be comfortable with anything less than 130 over 80. If your pressure is hitting 140 over 90, you definitely need medication. And I would say even before 140 over 90, you need medication. Now, what are the consequences of not treating high blood pressure. And let me say this before I continue. If you are on a blood pressure medication, I recommend you please continue to take your blood pressure medicines at home. Please talk to your provider before you ever stop taking your medication. These tips that I have on here are mostly for people things that you can do at home to help you keep that pressure down. It is not a substitute for you taking your medications. I am not your provider. So you do have to talk to your doctor, nurse practitioner, a, a physician assistant about your medication. But I do think it is worth it for you to take your medications until you are told not to take them any longer. If you don't treat high blood pressure, if we do not take, bring down the blood pressure, it could lead to you having stroke, it could lead to you having heart failure in the long run because all that pressure over time, your heart is going to tire and it will lead to failure. When you have heart failure, you have symptoms like shortness of breath, you have swelling of the feet and other parts of the body. So it will lead to those if we don't treat high blood pressure. And the other thing it will lead to is what we call chronic kidney disease. No part of the body likes all that pressure hitting on it, not even the kidneys. Over time, their function will begin to go down, and that is sometimes how people end up on dialysis. If you don't want to be on dialysis, and this is one way you could control that. There are other things that could make you end up on dialysis, but this is just one way. So here go my tips number one. You have to exercise if you want to bring down your blood pressure. You, we all need 30 minutes of exercise every day, at least five days a week. Exercise and increasing physical activity helps with everything in your body. And you don't have to start with 30 minutes. You can start with five minutes. You can walk your way up to 10, 15 slowly. You go up to what is comfortable. Just do some exercise. You don't have to go to the gym like I'm showing you in these videos. You can do it right in your house. Again, I always say you can dance. You can go up and down your stairs if your knees allow you, but do some exercise. If weather allows, you can be outside. Go take a walk for 30 minutes. Find a way to get them in. In between your job, during your break, go for a walk. Use some of it to eat and then go walk it off. So exercise is the one way. Number two is your salt intake. We need salt. I, we, there is no doubt about that. Our body needs salt. It's one of the electrolytes in addition to potassium, magnesium, all of them that the body needs to carry on with the metabolic functions. But you don't want to be overdoing it. The problem is here in the Western world, here in America, we eat way too much salt. 
nuts that people buy at the store is full of salt. Chips full of salt. And when I say salt, I mean sodium. When we have too much salt, it makes the body hold on to water. When you drink enough water during the day, you are able to pee out some of the sodium, which is salt, out of your body. Six to eight cups of water is what I think is necessary for us to be drinking, depending on our medical situation. If you have kidney failure, that's a whole different problem. You talk to your doctor, your kidney specialist, or your primary doctor about how much water you should be drinking. But every time we pee, we get rid of sodium, which is salt. Try to get rid of the salt shakers in the house if you have them. Put, use what you can in the food when the food is being made. And then you have to watch out for sauces. Sauces that you put on dressings, that you put on salads, on different stuff. Some of them have too much sodium. And then that is about salt. Number three, we must control weight. We must control obesity. We must control weight gain. And we can do this by eating the right kinds of food. I have videos here on vegetables, the kinds of vegetables that are good for you, the proteins that are good for you. Watch your portions. I am not very strictly about you must remove this or remove that. The one thing I do want you to remove from your diet is added sugar, glucose, sweet drinks, and all of that. But remember, like I have discussed in the past, carbohydrates, touchy food, your rice, your pasta, your breads, croissants, donuts, they all get converted to sugar, to glucose in the body in the end. So those are how we gain weight and you want to control your portion and you want to exercise to control weight. The other number four is sleep. Ladies and gentlemen, we must sleep. Six, seven, eight hours is what is recommended, no less than six. I know every day we are on the run, we are moving, we have stuff to do. And after that, we want to engage in social media and be on, the, on our phones and TV and computers way into the night. You must set bedtime and try to adhere to the bedtime. Go to sleep. Let your body rest. It is the only time when your body is completely at ease and resting. To help you fall asleep, make sure you're not, if you're a caffeine drinker, make sure you're not drinking caffeine past 12 p.m. That would cause you to stay up. Consider taking something like magnesium glycinate. It helps your body relax and go to sleep. It helps your body be at rest. If you have sleep apnea, that means if you snore is one of the symptoms, then you should be getting screening for sleep apnea. It's usually a sleep study. You go get a sleep study done so they can help you. If you need a CPAP machine, something to help you breathe, it will make a huge difference during the day. You will see that you're no longer falling asleep so much during the day. You are alert. You are well. Consider medica med meditation. Consider mindfulness. Consider slowing things down when it's time to go to bed. Turning off lightning. Make sure there is not too much noise so you can sleep. Number five is your mental health. Again, it goes back to stress control. Make your mental health a priority. Things that will stress you out, try to get rid of them if you can. If you can't find ways to manage them. If you need behavioral therapy, talking to a counselor, please do that. That is one way to control stress. And number six, we have to stop consuming things that are not good for our body, which is things like cigarette smoking. Cigarette smoking makes your blood pressure go up. Drinking alcohol makes your blood pressure go up. So things like that, we have to find a way to, if you haven't started smoking yet, please do not start. And if you're already smoking, find a way to quit. There are so many cessation aids out there. Talk to your provider if you need something ordered to help you, the patch, the gums, whatever it is you need to help you do that. But these are my six tips of how you can control high blood pressure.
If you are doing all of this and your blood pressure is still not controlled, please make sure you're talking to your healthcare provider. That will be all today. Thank you. And there it is. Done. Done. Perfectly done. And look at the sun is out. It's a beautiful day to be out walking these bodies. Do whatever you can. Jump rope, walk on the street, walk in your house, dance in place, whatever you can to move that body. It is the best thing we can do for our body is move. See you next time.